Well, I'm going to be all right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between Lin Gua... I, I, I zoomed out. Come on. There we go. Uh, Lin Gua Gua and TGW. TGW spotting as the teal human player here on the bottom right-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Lin Gua Gua spawning as the yellow orc. Orc versus human in a 1v1 matchup should be a great, great matchup here as things are getting underway. Gonna go ahead and speed things up to the 8 times speed. Altar of Storms, Barracks getting underway. Looks like it's gonna be Blade Map. Nope, Farseer. So Farseer grunts um, to open things up, going up against a Mountain King first. All right, so Mountain King first, going up against Farseer, um, as this game is already getting settled. Well, compared to yesterday, he is all right. Yeah, no, yesterday... Um, well, hopefully I can um, I can actually last long enough to cast all the way through. Thank you for the follow here as things are pushing on in here. Rogue Wizard going to get taken down, clearing out this creep camp relatively quickly as, well, yeah, I got to remember, this is Terranus Stan, a map that um, I haven't seen and um, played on in quite a bit of time. And one of those oldie but goodies of a map as we see a scroll of beast drop for that Mountain King. Meanwhile, Farseer able to clear out the creep camp using Lightning Shield effectively as we see a four Shoal Shadow Priest also picked up. Farseer going to pick up, perhaps sell some items as well. There are some healing salves, not needing some clarity potions, and already on the move. Down to the south here, Mountain King looking to finish off another unit there. Slippers of Agility, uh, but now plus six stats overall. Um, I don't know, if you add in another... Um, well, if you add in a mantle of intelligence, suddenly that Mountain King is dishing out quite a bit of damage even early. Hey, Grota, how's it going? Miss your cast. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. Um, aside from testing positive for COVID and then, all, um, and also experiencing a bit of nerve damage, um, or, or nerve inflammation that the doctors want to take a look at. A very, very painful day in the ER. I am doing well. Family's back to school. The kids are all enjoying themselves. And overall, I just cannot complain. All right, Forest Troll Shadow Priest getting an Abolish Magic onto one of those Spirit Wolves. Meanwhile, Mountain King trying to keep those Peasants of Life. Farsi are doing a great job with all of the harassment. Going to take down one Peasant there as the Farseer still has plenty of mana and could still rack up quite a bit of, uh, well, quite a bit of kills. Mountain King looking to perhaps get in the Storm Bolt here. There goes a little bit more damage. There is a Storm Bolt onto a Grunt. Chain Lightning now bouncing around, finishing off one four Shoal Shadow Priest and now using that Wand of Mana Stealing. Wand of Mana Stealing, one of those items which, have, well, early... Um, and later in the game is really not that powerful. But in these early, early small skirmishes where micro matters so much, taking 50 mana in, well, in such, when your army size is only 16 on each side, has a very dramatic effect. You saw that that wand of mana stealing allowed the Farseer to get in that chain lightning. Also, um, finish off a little bit of damage here. There's going to be an engagement once more. Thank you for the follow as the Farseer now heads back around to the other side. Mountain King is going to try and clear out this creep camp. He is getting a little bit greedy as Lin Gua Gua is now going to try and punish it even further. Farseer using another wand of mana stealing, able to steal a little bit of experience right there. Also has Spirit Wolves out here onto the battlefield. But now that Farseer is going to find it very difficult to try and maintain all of those spells in battle. Arcane Vault is currently in the construction. Thank you for all the follows um, brought, well, brought, in, uh, brought in part by Back to Warcraft and that raid earlier. All right, Farseer still looking to engage here once more. Perhaps a couple of peasants will try and build um, build an expansion here in just a moment. Meanwhile, that Forest Troll Berserker trying to retreat back, get away from the yellow uh, Farseer and those um, Dire Wolves there. One or two more shots should do it. Dire Wolf, no, does not get a critical strike, but the Farseer still gets the job done. And damage and pressure still adding on here. Grunt about to get surrounded and taken down. No, able to break free for just a moment. Five units around onto that Grunt. Grunt will get taken down. Meanwhile, Bash onto the Farseer. It looked like there was an attempted deny. Didn't quite work as the Spirit Wolves or Dire Wolves are now going after that Footman there. Farseer, Healing Salve. He's going to try and get in a little bit of damage there. Units now looking to retreat back. There is another bit of denial once more. Farseer. And still trying to perhaps engage here. Is it going to get in some damage onto a low hit point footman and then watch or try to chain it off with a little bit of chain lightning as well? Farseer still looking to engage. There's a little bit of damage. New Spirit Wolves it resummoned. Storm Bolt quickly, or is that a bash? Bash onto that <coughs> spirit and forcing him to head back.
<coughs> All right, during this time, it's important to note Lin Gua Gua is already at tier two and he's been stopping TGW's attempts at expansions. Not only that, TGW is still not has still not um, tech to tier two either. So that tech advantage that Lin Gua Gua is attempting to build may actually work out well. Very low hit point footman there as the Farseer. Well, could have a very, very bad day. Forest Troll Shadow, or excuse me, does have the Cloak of Shadows. Should be able to use that Cloak of Shadows in order to hide temporarily. But that is a very, very dangerous proposition. All right, attempting to finish things off here. Mountain King coming back around. There's that of appearance. No Storm Bolt in in time as the farce you're able to get that scroll of town portal off finally after the at the seven minute mark in this game we see that the town hall is currently being upgraded back at home Farseer already healing up and also and recharging on some mana as well as that torrent chieftain wants to get to level two to enable stomp coming back around we are already looking at dual bestiaries training up <coughs> training up raiders and researching that in snare torrent chieftain could cause quite a bit of problems here meanwhile mountain king looking to just get a little bit of gold and tgw's has pretty much stayed in his neck of the woods his, this entire time not really crossing the bridges and trying to build up a stronger economy mountain king off to the north here gonna go ahead pick up some items perhaps before venturing out tech to tier two has now just started as we are getting some well lumber um harvesting going for all of these peasants coming back around mountain king gonna head off to the north here and well do a little bit of green uh, creeping or green and orange creeping perhaps picking up some additional items he does have a dust of appearance charge still but his items overall don't look particularly strong peon down um, at the expansion location gonna actually attempt to set up a great hall but that will quickly be canceled um, as the mountain king is already off over there <clears throat> torrent chieftain sitting at level two still looking to get to level three farseer while well, being vent venturing back home to try and support make sure that there's not too much harassment <clears throat> by this mountain king and company As the Torrent Chieftain inches closer to level 3. Nope, does get to level 3 pretty much on the money. He also picks up Vampiric Aura, which will give him a bit of sustaining power. Meanwhile, um, well, the, the Teal Army picking up a Forest Troll Shadow Priest right here. Able to abolish magic down both of those um, dire spirit wolves. And now, while well, hiring units up from the mercenary camp to try and make a bit of a play. Farce here, we're going to attempt to engage here. Are we going to see a storm bolt? Yes, we are. This is going to be a bit of a dangerous spot to be in as he is taking quite a bit of damage. Staff of teleportation may not work out in time. Forced to use a potion of invulnerability as well. There's a chain lightning as that, well, that seven second invulnerability does not last long. All right, Farce here getting taken down. Mountain King able to snipe down <clears throat> and now try and scroll town portal back to defend his expansion. Mountain King sitting at level 4 here. Torrent Chieftain going to look to engage. There's a shockwave ripping through, taking that down one of those units as well here. Peasants able to repair up the guard towers. Torrent Chieftain looking to perhaps land in a little bit more damage. There's a Storm Bolt as well as a Torrent Chieftain could try and break free from this, well, this prison here, trying to take down unit after unit. How much damage can really be done? There it goes. Another shockwave. And now could perhaps go after that torrent or that forest troll berserker there. One more shot to one more shot should be enough to finish it off. But that forest troll berserker is retreating back slow onto the torrent chieftain as the units are all trying to retreat back as well. All right, bit of an exchange going around all the way across. There goes an ensnare there. Storm bolt onto the torrent chieftain through the forest, through the trees, and now a surround onto the torrent chieftain. Torrent chieftain down to dead. Mountain king snipes not only the far seer early on, but gets. The Torin Chieftain through a storm bolt through the woods and also, well, some a militia surround as well. Mountain King, however, low on mana, may not be able to do very much more. No, gets in another bash. And what a game. That Mountain King, a one-man army, able to snipe down enemy heroes even though, well, things are stacked against him. Using that Forest Troll Berserker... <coughs> Rather, sacrificing that Forest Troll Berserker to gain eyes on the Torrent Chieftain and, and dish out that damage. 
All right, with that said and done, TGW, well, only has a level four Mountain King going up against a level four Torrent Chieftain and a nearly a level four Farseer. Archmage now making its way out onto the battlefield, but this is the entire army of TGW right now. One Mountain King at level four and one Archmage sitting at level one. All right, Town or a Great Hall quickly going to get canceled there. Mountain King could uh, attempt a Stormbolt finishing off that Peon unless he wants to just, well, nope, gets in a good bash there <laughs> to make sure that the, econ the economic advantage is still his. TGW holding on so far. Archmage going to perhaps drop some water elementals. Mountain King picking up some items. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. And in comes the army here. All right, this could be a bad, bad overextension here. Trying to finish things off. Archmage could easily get taken down. Already gets taken down. Force Troll Berserker taken down as well. And oddly enough, the amount of gold to replace the Force Troll Berserker is, well, more than replacing that Archmage. Mountain King looking to continue to fight. There's a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Mountain King will not be able to get a Stormbolt off as the Mountain King gets a lucky bash onto the Farseer as well, who has been blocking his path. Mountain King could have a li little bit of problems trying to retreat away. Raiders, however, should be able to get off an Ensnare. There's an Ensnare. There's a Stormbolt going back the other way. And now without any more mana, this Raider will, will be able to live and, well, live and fight another day. Mountain King needs to heal back up are we looking at some tier two production arcane sanctum spellbreakers getting um, added in once more so arcane sanctum barracks riflemen and priests perhaps all going to be working together here meanwhile raiders looking to take down the town hall before too much damage um be, well before too much damage can be repaired by all of these peasants torrent chieftain gets in another shockwave takes down two peasants in the back here farce here still relatively low on mana as a well ogre maulers and more and more mercenaries are still being hired up tgw and has had the economic advantage for a, a, quite a bit of time and then using that gold to hire up units to instantly and um, well instantly train and made their make their presence known out on the battlefield Lin Guagua sitting at 35 supply right now since he has not been able to get this base up and operational, allowing for the Mountain King to, well, perhaps get an army size advantage, even though he was behind technically for quite a bit of time. 35 supply compared to 46 after all this time here. Torrin Chieftain of and, and Ling Guagua still working hard to maintain and hold on to that level advantage lead. If the Torrin Chieftain can get to level 5 and the Farseer can get to level 5, that Chain Lightning Shockwave 1-2 combination may become too much for that back line. The Shockwave line e easily reaches the back line of those priests and sorceresses. Meanwhile, the Chain Lightning, because of um, Spellbreakers, and generally targets the heroes and then all of those weaker lower hit point casters in that back position. If that may become the case here as the Raiders are now diving on in. Are we looking? Nope. Well, yes, there is Pillage. So again, we'll be able to get, do these hit and run tactics once more. Meanwhile, well, TGW looking to set up an outpost by building up this arcane vault. Mountain King ha has some plans for this great hall in, in order to force it into rubble. Meanwhile, and the Mountain King going to go ahead and head back home, scroll of town portal to try and save. In comes the army. Where is the Farseer? The Farseer could have tried to chain lightning things as the town hall now down to 170 hit points and finally taken out as well. Economic advantage finally neutralized, but at what cost as raiders and a bunch of units were lost as well, giving a little bit more experience to the Mountain King and Archmage. <coughs> timing is all key here expansion looking to get operational once more peons having to do a little bit of long distance walking since that great hall well is actually nearly done quite a bit of damage absorbed here and a, quite a bit of damage will still need to be repaired as peons now making their way over arcane vault has ended up um, falling but well this great hall is still suffering quite a bit of damage. Stormbolt onto a peon. One, one bolt, one kill as peon after peon is falling here. Spellbreakers looking to take things down as well. Archmage, um, well, not even bothering to stay nearby to try to get any additional experience as the armies, well, 
still doing more hit and run tactics raiders now trying to dive in well raiders a singular singular raider trying to dive in as well shockwave chain lightning able to finish off a couple of um, peons there or peasants there as there is now no more operational mining for tgw at all tgw went from well economic advantage two bases to one to now currently not mining any gold a second but the main main bases are nearly also running out of gold as well timing is going to be key and being able to have a follow-up backup plan is going to be critical as the mountain king looks to perhaps snipe down a couple of units here torrent chieftain wants to get to level five going to try and clear things up here raiders are joining in level five now as are we going to see some items picked up there we are item picked up once more ring of protection mountain king gets a storm bolt off onto the torrent chieftain torrent chieftain going to have a bit of problems health stone now picked up there scroll of town portal onto the farce here as all of the units are attempting to retreat back all right archmage gonna continue to finish things off here mountain king taking some of that precious experience as well 44 supply compared to 32 as the economic uh, well the economics of this main base finally getting back under full saturation remember though there's only five peasants or four peasants with one more being trained and we still need a lumber for tgw meanwhile lin Gua Gua has six peasants here and trying to build up an expansion as well i don't see a goblin shredder anywhere though as the farseer teleports in to battle all right couple of raiders there are we going to see an ensnare onto that mountain king no mountain king with those boots of speed able to book it out of there really quickly a very very beautiful back and forth game throughout this matchup mountain king gets ensnared there gonna see a little bit of damage torn chieftain now looking to retreat back what is going down what is going on as we see control magic turning those spirit wolves against uh, against lin gua gua stormbolt onto a raider and then well a stormbolt followed by a uh, beautiful attacks from those dire wolves dealing significant normal damage against those medium armored raiders Raider is still trying to run around in a circle and trying to get ahead of this Torrent Chieftain Farseer fast moving army. Torrent Chieftain now well, heading back off to the north here. Are we going to see a little bit of heals? <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me sorceress is now looking to engage here and now in comes the army. There's a chain lightning. There's that shockwave that I was talking about earlier and so much damage being done farsi are going to try and finish things off here stormbolt onto a raider there but who came out ahead that is the question as that raider about to get taken down yep does finally get taken down another shockwave rips on through and only spell breakers are pretty much left however the spell breakers still represent a clear and present danger against um, all of these units and well also minimizes the effectiveness of those spirit wolves not enough real mana to try and get a chain lightning shockwave um, through here. All right, we're looking at the Spirit Wolves going to try to dive on in. Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 5. Is he going to be able to make a, a bit of a play? There's the Arcane Tower as well. And now attempting to just take down these uh, buildings as a scroll of Town Portal now inbound. All right, trying to take these, these things down one at a time. There's a shockwave ripping on through. Is he going to be able to take down any of those Forest Troll Shadow Priests <coughs> or priest or the four shadow priest no not forcing a scroll of town portal as a mountain king stormbolt perhaps was about to be inbound <coughs> then gua gua is known as one of the best laming orcs all right and, and a, a nicer way to say that lin gua gua is one of one of the best orcs in util using that hit and run tactic getting gold back from pillage to try and equalize the playing field and our, so far we've been seeing a lot of well relatively low hit point or low yeah low supply army fights going back and forth coming back down to the south here goblin shredder coming here and those wolves those are shadow wolves obviously but what could be just as important is that these spell breakers with maximum mana could try and control them down pretty quickly all right repairs are underway on those scout towers as well meanwhile raiders looking to put pressure onto the arcane tower and guard tower also getting in a little bit of <clears throat> well should be getting in a little bit of gold as well coming back through all right torrent chieftain coming back around mountain king gonna try to get a storm bolt off gets a storm bolt off gets an ensnare there and this raider down to 75 hit points could end up getting finished off by that mountain king who was getting very close to level six 
All right, Farseer back across here. There's a Chain Lightning. There's a Shockwave. There's a bunch of dead peasants all lined up ready for you as the Scout Towers are all getting taken out. All right, hit and run tactics. Rinse and repeat over and over as Wind Riders are now joining in on the battle as well. Wind Rider looking to finish off that Goblin Shredder. Meanwhile, Farseer looking to fight back across here. Are we going to see some damage really rack up against all of those units as the Torrent Chieftain and the Farseer try to find their way out? Twirl of Town Portal used at just the right moment. There's a Shockwave finding a couple of more peasants trying to reset the economy of um, TGW. Lin Gua Gua TGW still going back and forth. Farseer going to heal up. Mountain King could come in with the Storm Bolt, finish off the Farseer. Farseer gets taken down. There is the snipe of the Farseer there. Mountain King had a hammer with the Farseer's name on it and delivered it cleanly, getting to level 6. Mountain King still has some ideas, but unable to keep up to that fast-moving Torin Chieftain with Endurance Aura, even with those Boots of Speed. <coughs> All right, Lin Gua Gua trying to escape away with this Wind Rider. Force Troll Shadow Priest getting in a couple of heals as well. Wind Rider able to back away. Th two Wind Riders, perhaps a third Wind Rider, will be joining in here. Guard Tower is going to cause some serious problems. As you can see, how much damage those that Guard Tower does per shot against that Wind Rider here. Torrent Chieftain may well just try and line up... Um, line up something are we gonna see a shockwave and and spear into that priest no we are not not even in venom spears as the expansion of lin gua gua now under duress <coughs> not much of an army to try and defend with ogre mauler absorbing some of that damage like a pin cushion as the priest now coming back over to get some heals on to the mountain king and the rest of this human army meanwhile torrent chieftain down to the south here by his lonesome self looking to clear up the all of those peasants and will shut down the economy as well as there is pretty much no more mining for lin gua gua either in the main base only at the expansion which well as you can see is not currently really operational all right now torrent chieftain looking to take down this keep as well if he can take down this keep then he'll have that benefit of long distance mining even though it is not that efficient what is going on here 40 supply compared to 32 farms actually being placed down here where is the rest of lin gua gua's army it's showing a 32 supply army there is a raider here um, there's another raider here there's a goblin shredder who has already a, a bank of 3,000 lumber no real reason to hold on to that um, just quite yet all right perhaps waiting for the farseer to make a, a bit of a play torin chieftain looking to take down this keep <coughs> now down to 200 some odd hit points falling ever so steadily but this expansion of lin gua gua will fall first all right off to the north here mountain king running back around mountain king opting not to get the avatar ultimate instead opting to go for level three bash um level three bash well if that mountain king doesn't have an overflow of mana it does make quite a bit of sense and really the mountain king's storm bolts are generally gonna win out more at this time unless the mountain king uh, unless the mountain king actually um got a bit of bonus damage against the buildings when it was in that avatar state say it, it was able to get siege damage it really doesn't make sense in in this situation here raiders still wandering around here dire wolves checking to make sure that there is no bases anywhere around and we are looking at a bit of gold being harvested here who is going to win this base race scenario as the spellbreakers are trying to take down all of these units here all right goblin zeppelin overhead here as well are we do we see any peons inside no we do not there is oh my gosh all right so well one good cheese play deserves another tgw actually opting to go to the high ground here and is now going to start building some towers all right lumber mill being placed down and now we are looking at tgw looking to clear up space to um, make it difficult to try and um, turn this into a base race scenario um, a big question a shockwave up on the high ground um, will it really work there as that as that peasant is still having quite a bit of work to try and clear things up that is going to be a difficult position to spot but there are wind riders in play i believe um, to do exactly that
All right, where are the last couple of buildings here? That is the question. Lumber mill sitting at 408, and there is a farm. He's not even going to try and go for a guard tower. He's going to go for a farm instead, as it will have fortified armor and protect itself better against um, wind riders if they are still in plays, such as that one. Wind rider quickly going to get taken down. Uh, very, very uh, important that TGW takes down that there as the Torrent Chieftain still absorbing quite a bit of damage. Scroll of speed as it, well, no scroll of speed. Endurance or now working its magic, allowing that Torrent Chieftain to try and get away. Control magic onto the Shadow Wolves. Gonna perhaps try and take down the Torrent Chieftain as well, just still racking up a little bit of damage. That one high ground scout farm, the difference between victory and defeat right now. I believe that is the last building. All right, that is in fact the last building. Torrent Chieftain gonna try and shockwave it does find the shockwave stormbolt onto the torrent chieftain torrent chieftain now in some serious trouble has no way to actually attack up onto the high ground and that is gonna be it taking a high or establishing up a high ground farm tgw comes in with the over over the top long game strategy and is gonna come away with the victory with one building left All right. All you need is a building, apparently. And that was an amazing game there. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below. Um, a beautiful, beautiful matchup going back and forth. And really, the, that Mountain King in the end able to land those storm bolts regularly to minimize the effectiveness of the enemy of the dual level 5 heroes just running around. Really, really great game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.